When you hear Medina, what comes to mind? Thank you, thank you. This tells you that Mecca, this tells you that there are a lot of uh, uh, Islamic uh, uh, schools and people here. What happened is that uh, in 1966, there was a very strong uh, wind and uh, you people call it a tsunami. But here we don't call it tsunami. It's, it's a, just a strong wind and there was a rain, so much rain. So uh, there was a certain area that got flooded. And when that place got flooded, at that time, our brothers and sisters from the Islamic uh, uh, region, uh, all the Muslims, uh, have traveled to Mecca. And when they went to Mecca, the Ghanaians were positioned at Medina. That is where they gave Ghanaians. So after the rain, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah decided to rebuild uh, houses for them free because they are there on pilgrimage or religious uh, 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 they are there to, you know, seek uh, um, guidance from God and this and that. They are going to pray. So therefore, why should they come back and still their houses has been flooded? So he, all those houses were broken down and Kwame Nkrumah built a houses for them. It's just up uh, inside here. And then when they came back, Kwame Nkrumah just quickly restarted us. So from the airport straight to your new house from the airport straight to your new house. So when people are coming to this place, they said, I'm going to where the Medina people are. Those who were, uh, 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 they went from Mecca and they stayed at Medina. Those Medina people, that's what we were then calling them. We were not calling them Muslims. We were not calling them Christians. We were not calling them African traditionalists, but we said they are Medina people, people who came from Medina. So they were resettled around this area. Hence the name Medina, Medina, Medina. And up to now we call it Medina. But the most interesting part of it is that although it's an Islamic area, there are churches all over, dotted all around them. And the, uh, the, there is a coexistence between the Christians, the Muslims, and African traditional religion. All over Ghana. As you drive along, I'm going to show you you will see a mosque here, you will see a church here. Friday, they go to church. Sunday, they go to church. Behind them, there is an African traditional religion. Who do you know, also doing his thing. And they all live in the same community. Right now in Ghana, Muslim can marry a Christian, a Christian can marry a Muslim. Nobody says anything. When we are there, and that is very good because there will never be a fight between the Christians and the Muslims, especially. Because if my wife comes from, my wife is a Muslim and I'm a Christian, or I'm a Christian, my, I'm a Muslim, my wife is a, why should I go and kill my wife's relatives? No. And that is what Kwame Nkrumah was driving at, yes, the yes, African yes. unity. Yes. That is why he went up there to marry uh, someone from Egypt. Yes. So Egyptians are, Ghanaians, we call Egyptians as our, they are our wives. They are our wives. And then we coexist. They also call us that. These are our husbands. And we coexist. Thank you so much. I'll give it to Lady Sass to continue. That's great. Well, I give it to you.